Alright, so this video is going to be the first of another series. I'm going to try to quickly go over uh, basic electronics. So we're going to go over the uh, switch controlled LED circuit. This is a push button switch. So the LED will be off, no current will flow. When we pl uh, close the switch, current will flow through the three components equally. And to know how much current is going to flow, we have a red LED we're going to look at and a blue one. So I already did the math. But uh, red LED, it's going to take about two volts to conduct when it's forward biased wired in the direction it conducts and lights up and uh, so as far as the resistor is concerned it's going to set the current we have five volts from the supply but two volts being dropped by the LED that's going to be three volts so we just do that math there three volts divided by 220 ohms and uh, we'll have about a 0 0.0136 amps or 13.6 milliamps blue LED takes about three volts and again you lose that voltage as far as the resistor is concerned, it will have 5 subtract 3, about 2 volts across it right there. So we do the math again, we'll have about 9 milliamps. So that's circuit current. The same amount of current when you close the switch has to pass through the three components. When the switch is open, you still have the same current, it's just nothing. And uh, that's the way it is in series. Current has to flow through them equally. Now, the resistor gets hot, so I put the wattage rating down here too. We'll go over that quickly. So you just take the current times the voltage that is across the resistor. With the LED, we just have to limit current to 20 milliamps or less, which we have done there. With the uh, resistor, now we have that voltage across it. So remember, the LED did take it off. So it does help uh, keep the resistor cool in one sense. But in any case, the current that's going through the resistor times the voltage going across it, the red LED, it's going to be about 0 0.04 watts, which is plenty fine because uh, most resistors are rated for 0.25 watts. You should still keep it though below uh, 0.125 watts, but we're still way below that. And with the blue LED, it's even better. That's because there's less voltage across the resistor and less current. But interestingly enough, the blue LED is brighter, so it's more energy efficient than the red LED. You get more light with uh, less uh, wasted energy. And so, after we go over the schematic and details and stuff, we'll do a quick breadboard build. And so there's these pins here, I don't know what these are called, but uh, I can clip onto the top of them, and then they got pins on the bottom that go into the breadboard right there. And so the black one is clipped to that blue row there. I have a jumper that brings the uh, connection over there to the other blue one. Same with the red, same setup there. So. Both uh, power supply rails are powered. Now we have from this power supply, we have the switch and it really only fits if you put it in the uh, right way. If you try to put it sideways, it's a little too narrow. So we do that, but uh, they may need to be bent just a little bit uh, first time. And also the board tends to push them out. They're awkward pins. But in any case, now we have the push button switch. It is connected on the top at all times and at the bottom all times. So that's now a long row that has uh, eight pins now instead of just a row with five, basically. So in any case, we have the push button switch and we'll take the resistor, come to the bottom of the switch and then go one spot away from that jumper right there. So again, we can go anywhere along that row, but uh, one spot away from there. Now we have to put the LED in the right direction. This is the uh, red LED, long lead the anode needs to go to the resistor towards the more positive side, short lead the cathode towards the more negative side. If you put it in backwards, it just won't light up. So now, let's uh, go back, and we calculated based on a uh, guess of how much uh, voltage this is going to uh, drop, because it changes a little bit with current, but it should be close to about two volts, as we saw before. But in case, we had 13.6 milliamps, and there you can see we have about uh, 12 milliamps, approximately. So this isn't completely accurate. But in uh, any case, neither was our calculations. But this is good enough for this video. You can see it's somewhere around 12 milliamps right there, or uh, 0 0.012 amps. Now we're going to grab the blue LED, and we did a calculation. It's quite a bit lower than the uh, red LED, like two-thirds or so, approximately. I just kind of guessed that in my head. But again, long lead the anode to the resistor, short lead the cathode down one spot, and it should be somewhere close to 9 approximately and there we go seven so again it's a little bit shy but uh, again our calculation wasn't completely accurate and this meter isn't completely accurate a multimeter measuring current would give us a better uh, reading of what the actual current is but in any case that's good enough for this video I'm going to try to keep it short so we're going to end it there make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can 
there's a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.